<laughs> Sorry. You can cut this out, right? Yeah. Okay. So, new backpackers. We've done a little bit of backpacking uh, previously, but so relatively new. We're going on a hike uh, called Buckskin Gulch on Utah Arizona border, uh, Buckskin Gulch and Priya Canyon. So, a large slot canyon, two nights, three days, and we're gonna go over what we are packing. But again, novice here, so. Uh, we'll do another video afterwards on what we didn't need or what we wish we needed after this. Um, when thinking about my pack and what I'm bringing, I start at the bottom and work my way up. It's important to have weight centered in your pack. So I just start filling my bottom so that I have a nice space for my heavy stuff like my bear canister. So starting in my big pack on the bottom, you put your suit, you put your uh, sleeping bag, but sleeping bag right now I have it aired out if you keep it compressed the fill can get kind of icky and then over time your sleeping bag won't last as long so I'm gonna keep this out right now but there's a stuff stack to make it nice and small but what else is gonna go on my bottom pack other than the bottom of my pack other than my uh, sleeping bag I have my sleeping pad we have an REI air rail I like this one because it's not super loud it is a little bit on the bulkier side but I'm not super concerned uh, also, just so you know, my pack tutor, uh, we have 60 plus 10, so it's 60 liters, but it also has some extra room at the top to play with. So, pretty big for only three days that we're going on, but that's okay. We'll fill it appropriately. So, I have my sleeping pad, sleeping bags, and go in there. What else I like to put in there is some of the stuff that I don't need. E oh, that's easy access, but I'm not going to bury in the bottom of my pack. So we brought a luxury item, which is our pillow. Uh, definitely not necessary, except when we backpacked last time. It was one thing I really wish I did have. So we got this time. We'll see how that goes. Also, what I'm going to put down here for now, and this is subject to change, but got a little medical kit. It's easy. It just shoves in the corner down here, too. And then also have a rain cover. We wouldn't be doing this hike if it was raining. This definitely could be something we don't need. But what I like about it is that it's waterproof. And at certain parts of the canyon, if there is a lot of water, it might just help kind of lift our packs up and provide a little bit of coverage. So I'm going to bring it anyway. Who knows? Might not need it at all. Not super worried. Um, as far as anything else at the bottom, I think that's good. We will eventually strap on parts of our tent which we have here uh ian who i'm hiking with will split this up we also have a footprint again something that i don't know if we'll need but we want to keep our tent in good condition for a while so we don't want to get tears and rips or whatever so we're going to start with it if we decide we don't need it later on as we get more experience and we won't so that's the bottom of my pack uh, next thing when I go into my pack is for now it's not full but I have a bladder right we have 2.5 liters I know water is going to be an issue on this hike so I'm a little concerned our plan is to bring this filled a Nalgene and another water bottle so we're going to be carrying a lot of water for that first day um, I'm just going to put this back in this pouch because it lays nice and flat Excellent. So, next thing I'm going to put in here is my bear canister. Now, before I put it in here, let's talk about my bear canister and why I have a bear canister. So, I... There's not going to be bears. We're hiking. But, we plan on backpacking in the future, and so we decided it was going to be a good investment. The other reason why I really like this is because if you notice, I'm not bringing a chair. This is also my chair. Pretty simple. So doubles as a chair and a food storage. Uh, like I said, other than the chair, I just like keeping my food separate from everything else. Uh, we'll see if it's going to be too heavy, but I'm not, not going to worry about it right now. Uh, for now, what I have in my food, uh, in my bear canister, uh, I do have a Sawyer squeeze. It's all, I have all the parts in here right now because I'm not totally sure what the water situation is going to be like. So, for our first time, I'm just going to bring it all and I'm going to put it right on top here. But other than that, right now I have my headlamp in here with some extra batteries. 
right? Be bad if that went out. So I have that in here. Uh, on top here, I have stuff for our lunches, which we are bringing some salami. Ian has tortillas and peanut butter that we're going to bring as well for our lunches. Um, also, first time we went backpacking, we were told to bring some candy in case you need a little extra boost. So I've got gummy bears in here. Other stuff I have posted in here right now. Hot cocoa for post-dinner treat. I've got some toilet stuff. Uh, not sure how this is all going to go. So we have wet and dry toilet paper just in case. Um, I have another bag full of toiletries, which I have sunscreen, hand sanitizer, bug spray, toothbrush, toothpaste, and uh, some soap to clean out our bowls and whatnot. So that's all in its own separate bags. Because we are big eaters. Again, might be too much, but I'd rather have too much than not enough, and we'll just eat a lot on the first day. I've got some beef sticks. Um... I have Noon that's shoved in here. Uh, great for drinking. We do non-caffeinated because Ian doesn't drink caffeine, but I drink plenty of caffeine, which I'll get to in a second. I've got two of these meals. Now I've seen a lot of people break these down uh, and put them in baggies, but for us on this trip, it's two nights, and we're unsure how water is going to be. So I'm not sure about cleaning these bags out between meals. As of now, we're bringing the whole packet, but we'll see. Um, I've got some wet wipes, a little towel, plate and extra cup that gets really flat, so not a big deal there. Spoon fork combo, and then I'm bringing a little coffee cup. I have two instant packs of coffee, but the really fun thing we're doing is we have a jet foil here. And we got the French press adapter, so I'm going to be drinking good coffee on this trip. Uh, the Jet Boy, actually, Ian's taking in his canister for now, so not going in my stuff. But that's it for what's going in my beer canister and sort of a food situation. Breakfast, oh, I don't have oatmeal up here. Breakfast, we're going to do oatmeal, instant oatmeal. And uh, I think for now, that's all we have planned. Canister. Now I'm going to put that next in my bag. For the reason being, you want that weight sitting a little closer to your hips. So, heavy right now, but clearly once we eat it, it will get lighter. I'm just starting the way. Uh, next thing, just stuffing down outside my bear canister. Uh, I'm going to have my day pack down low. I'm not super concerned about it. Uh, when we get to Priya Canyon, we'll probably keep our camp where it is, which is why I'm going to bring a day pack so that I can bring like stuff to get water, food, and stuff when we're hiking around during the day. So I'm gonna bring my day pack. I'm gonna shove it in one of the sides there. Now, as far as clothing is considered, right now temperature wise, it is gonna be hot during the day. And I think like mid fifties at night from what we hear. So a lot of these items are based on that with the idea of some coverage on the skin as well for the sun. So I'm bringing, we're, we're backpacking for three days, two nights. I'm bringing four pairs of socks because I know that first day when we're in the canyon, we might be in and out of water. So could get a wet pair of socks during the day. They're small, they pack up easy. So I'm going to bring an extra pair of socks in case that happens. Um, next, I got a buff. So a nice tube, great for your neck, headband, uh, dipping in water, cooling yourself down, excellent for that. Uh, so I'm going to bring that with me as well. I'm bringing, I think I have three pairs of underwear here, so one for every day. No need to reuse them this trip. Um, I have two sports bras. I don't know if that's too many. I may only need one. They're pretty small too though, so I'm going to go for it this time. One tank top, one base layer to have zip. So I'm thinking like transitioning from morning into afternoon when we're in the slot canyon, things like that for that. And then I have a technical short sleeve, something to keep me dry, maybe on that last hike when we're more in the sun. 
I'm bringing one pair of hiking shorts and then one pair hiking pants. All right, shout out y'all Raven because these are amazing. And then I am bringing one pair of leggings. Again, thinking on that chillier night, something that I can have on my legs that just gives a little extra warmth. So one pair of leggings and then last but not least, a down jacket. Again, this stuff's really low in the pack. It gets really small, so it's not a big commitment to bring it and I don't want to be cold on those nights. If you notice, I'm not bringing a rain jacket. Again, I mentioned before, we're not going to be doing this hike if it's raining. We have too much risk for flooding. So, that's why I'm not going to bring one. And that's that for clothes. Um, next, still an extension of clothes. I have my footwear. So, I am bringing, I have my hiking boots pretty heavy. We've got mixed reviews on what to wear in the slot canyon. So I definitely think on the day we're hiking out, I'll wear these because we're going to be more on regular terrain. It's just that wet aspect when we're in the slot canyon itself. So I'm also going to bring a pair of Chacos. Great for in the water, but also great camp shoes. I can't stress enough how after being on your feet for nine days that this is just not cutting it anymore. So I'm going to uh, be on your feet these. for how many days? Did I say days? You said nine days. Hours. Nine hours. We don't even read for nine hours that this just isn't going to be as comfortable. So I have a pair of Chacos. Now I have Chacos. I love Chacos. I decided to actually buy ones without the toe strap so that I can wear these with socks too on those cooler nights. So that's what these ones are specifically for, but then also in and out of water if it's not too cold. But we'll report back on that when we get back when we actually used. Nervous that these would be kind of heavy in the water, but we'll see. We'll find out. Um, oh, I think that's probably it for things that are going in and around in my pack, right? Everything that's going to be. Overall, pretty happy felt appropriate on food, felt appropriate on clothing. The only thing is it was still really hot in the evenings. So like our down jacket probably didn't need, but I still would probably always bring it just in case. Yeah, we, like, we used it. We used our down jackets just at the beginning of the hike. Um, but other than that, it was honestly a lot warmer than we were expecting, so. So clothing and food and everything like that, I'd say pretty good. I guess one thing about food, and we'll talk about what we did for water in a second, but I would bring quite a bit of food that you don't need water for. Because water, what we found out when we were making all of our meals is that a lot of water that goes towards your meals just takes away from drinking water and there was not a lot of water. So it would be smart to, to pack a lot of dry food or food that doesn't need liquid to, to be eaten. And then that brings us into like the first thing is water. Water is definitely the most difficult part, probably as far as like gear slash equipment slash all that stuff, or just like planning for your hike. Water is definitely the most difficult. The first day you have to pack, if you plan on starting at Buxton Gulch, you have to pack with a ton of water because there is no water in Buxton Gulch. And we said before it took us like 11, 11 hours. hours. So it's a lot of drinking water. We yeah. had full Camelbacks and two full Nalgene's. How much are those Nalgene's? Uh, I'm not sure. Regu those regular Nalgene water bottles. Yeah. So full Camelback, two Nalgene water bottles full. Probably close to like four liters of water. Yeah, pretty close. In, in total. And uh, we still probably could have packed with more um, if, if we like wanted to. Um, we were fine because once we got to our campsite, <laughs> sketchy at first but there's a few little springs it was like a really a really small amount of water in the creek and um, the little springs so there was moving water so we ended up taking water from those springs and we filtered it with a Sawyer squeeze and did a UV black light on it to kill any of the bacteria yeah. in it and half the time we also boiled it because we were yeah. eating with it 
Yeah, so that would be like my one tip is make sure you bring like, and you're comfortable with the things you have for filtering water, because it's not like the best quality of water. And maybe even like we doubled up with the sort of squeeze and the UV light. Um, you could probably get by with just one, but just uh. to be safe, it's it, it was nice. We were glad to have two. We actually didn't plan for that. We brought the solar squeeze. Our hiking partners brought the UV light and it ended up working out really well where, um, because the water was honestly a lot worse than I was expecting. Uh, so that, that was super nice. Yeah. I mean, if you have one, like if you have a filter, I'd probably still bring like iodine tablets or something too, just to kill any bacteria. Cause it was, yeah iffy we were nervous yeah we definitely drank it and we're waiting to see if anyone got sick so no one did yeah so then probably the second biggest thing as far as gear goes for the buckskin gulch hike would be um footwear footwear for sure uh footwear was very important um and we were both super happy we brought two um kinds of footwear we both brought a like a normal hiking boot and a uh, like a sandal, like a tougher sandal that you could like still hike in, um, and that was key because the boots was really nice at the beginning of the hike um, with big boulders and pretty just sandy, yeah, pretty too. sandy conditions and just honestly the overall mileage and distance. And then the second one was you know the sandals, which was great for uh, the water, the water, yeah, and mud. But also just at camp because your feet were all of our feet were hurting from hiking, so to just have something where our feet, our toes could breathe yeah. was really important. I think it would definitely be a huge mistake if you did not bring multiple types of footwear, because yeah. um, if your boots get soaked and you're trudging around high high mileage in wet muddy boots, uh, it's going to be no. Could have maybe went a little bit lighter. I think we both thought our packs were a little bit heavy uh but that's partly because of the amount of water we had to carry in the beginning so we're also still learning we packed a lot yeah so we packed a, a lot and we probably can get better at being a little bit more lightweight cutting out ounces here and there but overall really happy with how we packed in general I'm trying to think of leave questions or comments about the hike uh, below